Are you ready to see our new apartment? Yes, let me in. Come on home. Oh my god. Yep. Guys, this apartment is beautiful. You like it? I love it. This is my <laughs> first time seeing it, so I'm just taking it all in. My boyfriend basically picked out this apartment for us because I couldn't be here to view it. He did a good job. This is so cute. What do you think stands out the most? Definitely the view, guys. The view is so breathtaking. Let me show you. This is our view from our living room. Are you kidding me? Like, this is so freaking gorgeous, and there's a lake. We can go swim in there right now. <laughs> Yeah, if we want to freeze to death. <laughs> I said, oh, there's a guy kayaking right now. Really? What the heck? I'm on a mission. <laughs> you guys see that? Oh my god, this is so pretty. Are you kidding me? Do you guys see this? Oh. Still got snow up in the mountains. And apparently we get really pretty sunset views. So imagine this plus the sunset. Oh my god, it's like a dream. Are you guys ready to see our new home? I'm going to show you the kitchen first. Yay. This is our what are we cooking today? You know, I, I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> DoorDash, that's what we're cooking. Right, anyway. That's pretty accurate. Continue the tour, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> okay, so here we have the island. I'm definitely gonna make cute little cooking videos, cute little cooking TikToks. You know, be a cooking... Star. Star, what's gonna say? She I makes amazing food. She's lying. I love your food. Okay, I know I cook a little bit, but I'm not I'm not a culinary chef out here. I wanna be Emily Oh my god, I forgot her name, but you know what I'm talking about. Y'all tell me why I was joking, but then I realized we literally have like the same kitchen, so we really are gonna be twinning. Emily, I'm coming for your brand. The sink, I just realized it's kind of small, but you know that will make us clean our dishes. <laughs> 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 you know, I just realized our sink is a little small, but maybe that's a good thing because then it'll make us want to wash our dishes more often since there's not a lot of space here. True. To be in the we have some beautiful light fixtures right here. I've never had this in a apartment or a house, so it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of replacing these with flower shaped lamps, but I don't know how difficult that is to remove. So I might not do it because they still look cute like this, but imagine if they're flower shaped. That is just like so me, so cute. If you haven't guessed already too, this entire space is gonna be very pink and girly, like me. My boyfriend doesn't mind, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'm not the YouTuber in this relationship. Then we got some nice, what is this called? Soft clothes cabinets? Like, like I can literally just go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how you do it. That's actually, yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what they were designed to do. Exactly, yep. Just slam it <laughs> with all of your might. I just think you just had a lot of aggression in that first slam. Okay, then let me do it. No, no, no. <laughs> we have a deposit to get back. But what is this wood? Oh, that's cedar plank down at the old uh, cedar plank forest. I don't know. <laughs> Fancy AC. I feel like all fancy places have this AC. Comment what temperature you put your house to because she likes it very cold at all times. Not at all times, but yeah, majority of the time I do like it more cold. I have to wear a hoodie everywhere I go these days. <laughs> it's because I'm always filming, so I don't like to be sweating when I'm filming. This is our stove. Pretty ordinary. Nothing special about it. Just a standard stove with the oven. Then we have a pretty fancy fridge, I'd say, because water comes out of it. I did not grow up with a fridge that had water coming out of it, so I think this is pretty cool. My boyfriend, on the other hand, he had a fridge like this growing up, so he's used to the bougie lifestyle. Pretty spacious fridge. I got some Chick-fil-A salad in here. They didn't give me a fork, so I can't even eat this so I freaking burn my utensils. And we have pretty big space for frozen food. Oh, and we have a dishwasher. Pretty cool. So if I'm too lazy to wash my dishes, just put them in there. Oh, we have a microwave. Yeah, just basic necessities. And we're Good done stuff. with the kitchen. Now let me show you 
our room. So we live in two bedrooms, so let me show you our first bedroom. This is our first bedroom. I don't know the layout yet. So if you guys have any suggestions on how I should decorate the room, but so far I'm thinking like the bed right here, and then like a dresser or a desk right here, then some artwork, you know, all over the walls. <laughs> it's pretty small. <laughs> then we have a closet. It's not the biggest. It's actually really small, but we have the two closets. So we're gonna use this closet, and then we're also gonna use the other closet that I'll show you guys later. And then right across from our bedroom, we have a bathroom. This is gonna be our guest bathroom, just cause it's smaller. It's still really pretty, like, this is a really nice bathroom. Like, looks very modern and aesthetic. So, can't complain. And then all the apartments I used to live in, they never had an in-unit washer and dryer, but this one does. So I'm pretty freaking excited about that. Now I need to walk like all the way downstairs to wash my clothing. I could just do it in my home. So nice. That's everything on this side of the room. This is our living room. It's probably the most spacious thing in our apartment, so I'm definitely going to be filming a lot right here, especially because the lighting is probably the most prettiest. And the view is gorgeous, like I showed you guys. I think it'd be really fun to be filming and guys in my view. I kind of really know how I want to decorate it. I'm thinking a pink couch right here along this wall. I've always wanted a pink couch. I've moved like four times and I never had a pink couch. Like, imagine just me sitting here on the pink couch. I can, I can totally see it right now. Watching my TV <laughs> with my boyfriend and my cats. And then on this wall directly from the couch, I'm thinking of a cute little TV stand. I want like a unique one, but it's kind of hard to find unique TV stands. So I'm thinking of finding maybe like a white one that I like how the shape looks and just spray painting it to whatever color I want. It would probably be pink, but maybe a light blue because I've been kind of liking light blue, so I don't know. And then I got a colorful big rug in the middle and like a cute, unique, wavy coffee table. Something in the middle for sure. And probably a cute little hatchery in this corner for my cats. Oh, and because we get such good lighting here, especially during the sunset, I want to put rainbow catchers on the windows because then when the sun hits, there's going to be nothing but rainbows all over our living room and it's going to look so cute. The goal is for the place to look like a fairy wonderland. I want a lot of color. Yeah, that's the living room. Let me show you this part. Apartment. This is our second bedroom. This is probably gonna be our. What exactly is this room gonna be? This is gonna be um our. Like random room. Random room. So sure. <laughs> yeah. we don't know yet. We don't know yet. We have a lot of clothing, especially me. And you saw that closet in my room. It's really tiny. So we're thinking of putting a few more clothing racks in this room and kind of making it into a closet. But only half of it is gonna be a closet. And then the other half will be like, I don't know, whatever we want it to be. It's a room of possibility. <laughs> yeah, it's a room of possibilities. I didn't want this to be our bedroom because there's not a lot of direct lighting. It's kind of dark. I'm not really vibing with it. And the window is pretty tiny. If you're thinking, why didn't you guys just get a one bedroom? We didn't get a one bedroom because it wouldn't be enough storage for us. Like I said, I have a lot of clothing. So if we got a one bedroom, there would barely be any space for my clothing and his clothing. Yeah. Two bedroom was kind of necessary. The only thing that sucks though is that this bedroom, it's smaller than the other one and it's darker than the other one, but it has the main bathroom attached to it. So even though this isn't where we're gonna sleep, this is still gonna be the bathroom that we use like all the time. Let me show you the bathroom. It's a really nice bathroom. It's very cute and aesthetic. Look at our shower, it's so nice. Do you see that? You will be me taking a shower. <laughs> Yeah, so spacious. The shower pressure is really good too, but I could turn it on with me in it, but a little like watch. Look at this. Look at the shower pressure. That's I don't think they can dream. see the shower pressure. Oh, you guys can't see the shower pressure? <laughs> I mean, you can see the quality of the shower head. <laughs> you can tell it's, it's packing a punch. It's really nice. Yeah. I hate when showers don't push out enough water. Like, that is the most irritating thing. Or when it's too hard, I don't like that either. Like, this is the perfect amount. Yeah, I like when it's piercing my back. <laughs> We have a lot of counter space, which is perfect. I require a lot of counter space when I get ready. I use a shit ton of products. I don't know why, but it gets messy up in this bitch, so <laughs> I'm glad I have a big bathroom for that. And I want to pinkify it, of course. Maybe like a pink rug, maybe some pink 
I don't know yet. <laughs> some some pink stuff. We'll <laughs> find a way to make it pink. And I kind of want to paint something in the house pink. We need pink somewhere. Like my last apartment had a pink room. I don't want a pink room this time, but I'm thinking like pink accents. Like maybe. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. <laughs> something pink on the walls. <laughs> and then this is the. They consider it a walk-in closet, but I don't think it's a walk-in closet. I'd say like a semi-walk-in closet. I was staying at a place last month that had a walk-in closet, and it was huge. It was like it went like to that corner. So I considered that a walk-in closet. <laughs> yeah. This is just like a regular closet. Like this. It's probably gonna fill up all my clothing. That's why we're gonna turn the second bedroom into a half closet. It's gonna be needed. Top of clothing, I have so much arts and crafts. I have a lot of hobbies, <laughs> so <laughs> I have a lot of things. <laughs> That's everything. So now that I've shown you guys our new apartment, let's debrief together. This is my boyfriend, Jesse. Hi, I'm Jesse. <laughs> If you guys don't know, we have been long distance for basically two years. It's been way too, it's been way too long. I literally would go months without seeing him and it would be like the worst thing in the world. But we thought, well, why not move in together? I need to be next to her at all times. <laughs> since, since the day I met him, I wanted to move in with him. Do you know this? The area we chose is a really good area. We got paddle boarding, we got yummy restaurants, we got farmers markets, we got community get-togethers. We literally have everything that we need. If you saw my last moving vlog, I mentioned I was moving out of state, but I didn't say where to because I wanted it to be a surprise. We have a guest already. Do you want to know where I ended up moving? Drum roll, please. I moved to Utah. I bet you weren't expecting me to say that. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking, Lily. Why the heck did you pick Utah out of all the places? Well, honestly, Utah is really pretty, okay? I don't know why people shit on it so much, like maybe the Mormons, but aside from that, it's really gorgeous here. My boyfriend is from Utah. When I visited him for the first time here, I was like, Utah's actually like really cute. There's a lot of nature. The people here are really nice. There's pretty views. The mountain views with the snow, especially, so gorgeous. I've been visiting my boyfriend here in Utah on and off since 2022. This wasn't really an impulsive decision. I definitely got a feel for Utah before making this decision. On top of that, I didn't want a super crazy city vibe anymore. I came from LA. LA was full of city life. Since I experienced that, I was ready for something new. The environment I'm in right now is very much like peaceful, suburban, cutesy little community. And I'm really happy with it. Like that's what I wanted. Not to sound corny, but we really only do live once. Let's make the most out of our lives and make your dream life come true. My dream life for a while was to live in a pretty safe environment with my boyfriend, so I made it happen. I could have stayed in LA and continued to be miserable and hated my life and been far away from my boyfriend, but instead I said, no, I'm changing that. I don't want this life, this life isn't for me. Here we are. I'm entering this new era, this new chapter in my life, and I am 100% ready for it. I'm definitely gonna be documenting it all for you guys. I'm gonna be doing a lot of move-in videos, like decorating my room, decorating my living room, decorating my bathroom. Lots of decorating videos coming your way. If you guys have any video ideas you guys wanna see for my new life, let me know. I think I told you guys everything I need to tell you, so now we can begin with moving all my things.